Greetings comrades, Feather here, and in this video I'm going to give you some tips on how to make your Dragon Ball characters fit into the world of Dragon Ball a little better. Specifically, the way you draw them. The Dragon Ball art style is easily recognizable, but takes practice to replicate, as many fan artists will tell you. However, there are indeed a few tips and tricks I've learned. And while they don't make drawing the Dragon Ball style any easier, they will make the characters you create look like they would fit right in beside Goku and company. Keep in mind that these aren't rules of any sort, just some ideas that might help you out. For this video, I'm going to be making a character of my own as the example. To keep things simple, I've decided on a female human. That way I don't have to draw muscles. Before I even touch the paper, I'm going to follow my first tip. Look at references. We are not tracing or copying here. What we are doing is observing the style so we can mimic the general shapes and lines we see. I want my girl to be a fighter, so I might think of looking at manga images of Android 18. Manga is the best reference here. Screenshots of the anime can work, don't get me wrong, but the finished product will differ depending on where you draw your ideas from. I also want my girl to look like an original Dragon Ball human fighter, not one from Z, so I pull up some pictures of Launch as well. It helps to put your references on the same canvas as your art. Just make sure it's on a new layer. Or, do as I do, and draw your initial sketches on paper, then scan them in. Speaking of sketches, sketch, sketch, sketch. Never try to draw a character for the first time as a reference sheet or anything like it. That'll make them look stiff, and when you look back on it, the reference picture will be way off from what you draw afterwards. Sketch some poses down and pick one you think captures the feeling of your character's personality. Get to know them. This will inform your design decisions down the road. It might also take a while. Be prepared to fill a few pages in before you're happy. Since I want my girl to be a spunky fighter, but still fun-loving, I went with this pose. She's ready to throw down, but she's not uber serious about it. She's at a tournament, not the end of the world. Now that she's on her feet, she needs a face. First thing you're going to do is sketch over all of your rough lines with your final line art for the body itself. My screen recorder actually affects my drawing program negatively, so I decided not to record that step. Just study the line length closely in the pictures you have for reference, and try to follow along with it. Then, once you've got those lines down, zoom into your face and make a layer underneath it. Use a different color than the one you used for your lines to sketch in roughly where the facial features will sit. Make sure to check your reference images yet again to make sure you know where everything's going where it's supposed to according to the Dragon Ball style. My guidelines are mostly taken from launch, because I want my character to have a facial structure similar to hers. But you can pick whoever you want. The ladies of Dragon Ball have a few options for their faces. Eyes are usually round, oval, or a round-ended triangle. The men have the more rectangular eyes. I'll be making an expression with each kind of eye to test and see how it looks. Eyelashes are also more common on the girls of Dragon Ball although some male characters have them. Usually as a joke, not recommended, or they genuinely pull them off, like Whis. Since this girl is scrappy and maybe a little cocky, I'll give her a slightly smug look overall. She's confident for sure and her expression should show it. I decided to go with this facial expression because I like how it felt. It matches all of the personality traits I've been thinking of in my head the whole time, and I feel like it works with the overall pose. Next, we're going to move on to some more details in the face. First of all, eyebrows. Eyebrows in the Dragon Ball universe are usually thin on the ladies and real big on the guys. Since I want this character to have a really grungy look about her, I'm going to do two versions of her face. One with eyebrows that show, and one with eyebrows that don't. There. Now she has a face. As you can see, I did a lot more of her facial features than I had planned before, however I felt like I was on a roll. Through looking at the reference images I had of Launch and Android 18, I managed to get a face that I think suits my character the best. I decided to go with just flat black line eyebrows as 
Having colored eyebrows on her, I feel, would take away from her facial features a little bit more than I would want them to. Her eyes, instead of having pupils like a lot of the girls have, ended up being just a flat color, like launch. I feel the simplicity helps with the overall effect. Noses in Dragon Ball tend to be tiny and pointy. As long as you follow that, your face should look pretty good. It really does make or break the entire expression. So pay attention. Now that we've got our character's face and body done, the next thing we're going to be moving on to is probably the hair or clothes. You can really do these in any order you want, but since my character is a fighter, I'm going to get her hair up and out of the way and finished before I move on to her outfit. I went through a lot of hairstyles before I finally ended up on one I wanted. Actually, I had two I wanted, but I had to pick between the two of them. Different hairstyles will give your character a lot of different personality traits. One hairstyle made her look more calm, and the other one, well, kept her her wild side like I wanted to. Unfortunately, my screen recorder kind of gave out partway through recording the hairstyles, so I don't have the rest of it. But I do have the final hairstyle I decided on to show you. And there's the hair. Pulled back in the front so she can see who she's beating up, but still wild and untamed in the back. Next, we're going to move on to her outfit. I'm going to pull a bunch of references from all over Dragon Ball to be working on her clothes, because I want her to look like she could be a background character or someone who you fight in a tournament. Probably one of the qualifying rounds or a semi-final, to be honest. Humans in the Dragon Ball universe don't have a lot of luck with tournaments. While I'm doing that, I'd encourage you to really think about what kind of character you're going to be making. So once we get done with the clothes, I'm going to go over a brief synopsis of color, and then we're going to be pretty much done. Here we go. And there she is, fully clothed. It turns out my tablet's sort of dying right now, so I mostly have screenshots for the rest of this video. Hopefully by the time I get another one up, I'll have a new tablet and things will work out better. Anyways, onwards to doing color. When you start doing your color, give yourself a lot of options. I've created four color schemes here, and to make sure it's not too complicated, I looked at a reference image of Launch to see how many colors were in her design. She has three main colors on her body, which would be her skin tone, her hair, and her eyes, and five colors for the clothing, so that's what I tried to follow. After I got these four designs, I narrowed it down to two. The first color scheme has been my favorite since the start, however there are parts of the second one that I also really enjoyed. So after going over the colors a little longer, I decided to combine the two color schemes into one final one. I also put all the colors from that scheme onto a little bar so I could see how they look next to each other. And there she is in all her full color glory. After you've gotten your character's colors down, you may think, hey, I want to do shades and highlights. If you're going to do that, then there's several options you have. Whatever coloring style you have will probably suit your needs best. However, if you want to go for the DBZ style of shading and highlighting, it's fairly simple. Simply make darker and lighter versions of all the colors on your character. Then, just highlight in chunks. That's really most of what there is to it. The second one I shaded with my own style of shading, which involves layers with overlays and highlights and a lot of different things going on. I might do a video of that in the future if people are interested in this way of shading. All that's left to do now is give you a character a name. A lot of the characters in Dragon Ball Z have names that are puns either in the native Japanese language or in English. Most of them are related to food. So look up some foods that you think would make some good puns and make sure that the shortened translations don't end up being anything bad. People have had issues before. Once you picked a name that you think suits your character the best, and maybe is a little funny, then go for it. That's about the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed watching it and stay tuned for more videos like it in the future, hopefully. And once I get a new tablet. Catch you later!